Hey guys, we are back again. I wanted to show you this little setup that we got going on here. This is the sound bar and a really bad cable job right there, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. But here's the the DIY Dayton sound bar. And of course, I had to get in my Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, and Nintendo for all you retro gamers out there. I want to show you how you could add a little bit of bass to this. And um, it's very simple. In fact, this is the way that I would prefer that most people amplify this particular system. It makes it very simple, and you get good sound out of it. And it doesn't cost much. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you saw me build this. This was the uh, subwoofer that we used on the 2.1 system. It has a 2.1 amplifier in the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up some of my custom made cables from the back of this to the back of this and show you what it sounds like. All right, let's do it. Guys, this is so simple to hook up. We already have the uh, speaker wire plugged into the back of the sound bar itself. So I'm just gonna clamp these down. That's because before I was using speaker wire on the 2.1 system. And now I just have to grab my left and right speaker wires that I made. Now these, this absolutely makes it much easier to do this. Now here's the left one. Let's plug that one in. And here's the right one. Simple already plugged up now we just need sound now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 3.5 millimeter cable from the table from the TV itself and run it into this amplifier but you just take your audio out of your TV and anything plugged up to the TV will now be hooked up to this so any soundbar that you build I recommend this amp this amp is such a great little class D amplifier 2.1 setup and uh, and you're good to go. Now let's just plug it in the power. All right, there's that green light that we love. So you may notice all the toys. This is what happens when you have a toddler. No one tells you this, all right? They don't tell you that, you know, your house is gonna be run over by toddler toys, but it does. So anyone that's thinking about having a toddler, this is what happens. All right, let's play some music on here. All right, guys, here in a minute, we're gonna Alright guys, here in a minute we're going to go ahead and play you some sound, but before we do that, I just want to remind you that that subwoofer has control to be able to turn up and down the subwoofer and satellite volume. And so if you feel like you need more bass and less satellite or vice versa, you can actually adjust that. Alright guys, let's listen to some no copyright sounds. I really hope the bass actually was able to be heard. Uh, sometimes the microphone doesn't pick up the bass very well. Um, but yeah, that, that is a great little system. Would make a, an awesome uh, addition to anyone's living room or family room. So I, got, I hope you guys like this. Very easy way to add a subwoofer to any type of sound bar or any two channel system that you want to add a quick little subwoofer to. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and as always, subscribe so you can get the newest content. Thanks, guys.